Hey Grade 5, it came to my attention when I was editing together the Transformations video that that thing ended up being more than 20 minutes long. So to help you out, I've broken it into a few smaller parts. Each transformation is also getting its own video. Now this is the same content you would have seen in the big video, but these ones are about 5 minutes long each instead of 20. Uh, it doesn't include the stuff about the coordinate plane, so if you want to see that, that's still in the first video, but here it is for you. Enjoy! This is the video for reflections. Now on this one, it's pretty straightforward. You've just got a line, vertical or horizontal, and you need to flip the shape perfectly over it by counting how far from that line each of the points on your shape is. Later on, you might get into more complicated stuff. You'll have to eventually flip across diagonal lines, but that's not grade five. You're good for now. Just knowing your horizontal and your vertical counting how far away a point is, and flipping it. Have fun, guys! Now, reflecting is a little bit more complicated than just sliding a shape around, but it is very easy to do. The most important thing about all of this is that we need to specify the line we're reflecting across. We do this by naming the line based on what's constant about it. In this case, you can see I've drawn a line on the coordinate plane. This line could go forever up and down, but one thing will always be the same of it. When y is 0, when it's 0 high, well, its x is at 7. And 1, when y is 1, its x is still 7. At 2, its x is 7. At 10, its x is 7. No matter how high or low this line goes, my x value for it will always be 7. For that reason, I can call this line x equals 7. Now to reflect across x equals 7, I'm going to start by marking the corners of the shape I want to reflect. I want to make sure that each of these corners is the same distance away from this line when I'm finished, but in the opposite direction. So let's take a look. This corner, which I'm going to label A, is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 spaces to the left of my reflection line. So I need my new A to be 5 to the right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. In math, we write the new one by saying A and then putting a little tick next to it to say it's new A, or A prime. This one, which I'll call B, is 1, 2 to the left, so it needs to be 1, 2 to the right. This is my new B. And down here, C is 1, 2, 3 to the left, so it needs to be 1, 2, 3 to the right. There's my new C. If I now connect these lines, like so, you can see I've made a mirror image of my scalene triangle across that horizontal line. It's a perfect flip, a perfect reflection of the shape I started with. Let's take a look across another uh, horizontal line this time. Now this line could go on forever to the left and right, but everywhere it goes, its y value is going to be 5. So I can call this line y equals 5. Now to flip across y equals 5, I still need to just take my three points, a, b, and c, and make sure they are the exact same distance from the line as they were when I started. Here, I've got my A two points above the line. So my new A, my A prime, needs to be two below. A prime. My B is one, two, three, four, five above. So it needs to be one, two, three, four, five below. B prime 
is right on this line. And my C is on the line. C doesn't need to move. If I move it zero away from the line, it's still going to be zero away from the line when I'm done. C prime is in the same spot. Now again, I just need to connect my dots. A to C, C to B, A to B. And again, I've got a perfect mirror image of my triangle, but now I've flipped it vertically instead of horizontally, across the line y equals 5.